Hello and welcome to Acoustic Review. My name is Ben Morgan Brown and today I'm looking at the acoustic pedal from Orange Amplifiers. New for 2021, this pedal includes a three band EQ of bass, treble and mid range with adjustable frequency and Q factor, as well as a master volume output. A send and return effects loop allow you to insert other pedals into your chain and an unbalanced jack output and a balanced XLR with a phase switch allow you to connect to a PA or amplifier. An 18 volt power supply is included and the pedal has an RRP of £139. For the purpose of this review, I'm using my Collins OM2HT fitted with a K&K Pure Mini pickup. And for this next section of the review, I'll be playing through the acoustic pedal while someone else adjusts the controls. So let's have another listen to the acoustic pedal now and then please join me afterwards for my thoughts. My first impression of the orange acoustic pedal is that it has a very cool design on the top. Very different to your normal functional black or brown box that I often see on these kind of products. The second thing I noticed that although the slight paisley 70s hippie pattern looks cool, it does make it a little hard to read the writing and I can't help but immediately think that under stage lights the words will just disappear. I know it might have spoiled the look but I think orange might have thought about putting the words in a different colour text. That aside, the controls are logically laid out, with the exception of the control labelled Notch. Before I read the instructions, I instinctively thought that this was a notch filter for controlling feedback, but it's actually the frequency control for the mids. Once I knew this, it made sense, but it seems an odd choice of label for that control. Plugging in and with everything set flat, the pedal took the signal from my K&K &K and amplified it cleanly. The bass and treble controls reacted in the way I would expect and it was simple to use them to adjust the sound. I am used to using a parametric EQ with my own personal preamp so using the notch and Q factor control to dial in the mid range was simple enough but with one frustrating exception. The lack of any detail on the controls as to the frequency or the width of the Q factor meant I had to spend some time sweeping the controls around to find the setting I wanted. Now, this isn't the end of the world and in fact encouraged me to use my ears to dial in my tone, but there are certain frequencies I know can be troublesome with my setup and being able to go straight to them as a starting point would have been really useful. For example, through some systems I feel my guitar can sound a bit honky or grainy even, and in these situations I know that a broad cut around 800Hz will help. At other times it might sound a bit muddy or bloated, in that case I know a narrower cut between 200 and 400 hertz helps. Both of these settings were easy enough to find by listening, but it would have been a lot easier with a little extra info on the front of the pedal. Otherwise I think the pedal is well thought out and designed. Having the XLR output at the top means it is easily accessible and out of the way of any other cables and having both an insert and return for the effects loop makes it simple to use other pedals in your setup. One thing to note is that the power supply required is center positive and 18 volts, so if you intend to use the orange acoustic pedal on a pedal board with an aftermarket power brick style supply, make sure the supply you're using has the correct voltage and polarity. Aside from the slight issue with the style over substance pattern design, I can't think of much to fault with this pedal. It's well made, the EQ works well, it cleanly amplified my signal and allowed me to make adjustments, 
and the simple ins and outs mean it will integrate into a pedal based system easily. At £139, the acoustic pedal from Orange is very reasonably priced as well, and I think when you add up all the positives, the build quality, the clean tone, the well thought out ins and outs, the EQ and the price, well, it seems a no brainer to me if you're looking for an external preamp without breaking the bank. Just remember your Sharpie to mark which knob is which. I hope you've enjoyed this video from Acoustic Review. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon to be kept up to date when we post new videos, and I look forward to seeing you next time. <laughs>